ozone depletion, global warming, deforestation, loss of biodiversity, and pollution. These are just some of the environmental issues we are facing today. For this documentary, we shall focus on the loss of biodiversity. What is biodiversity? Biodiversity is a contraction of two words, biological and diversity. It simply means the variation of life. Why is biodiversity important? Biodiversity boosts ecosystem productivity where each species, no matter how small, has an important role to play. It determines how resilient an ecosystem will be in the face of change. To understand why biodiversity is as significant as it is, one must know what comprises it. Biodiversity can be categorized into three types. Ecosystem diversity, species diversity, and genetic diversity. A decrease in any of this could weaken the ecosystem. Due to human activity, biodiversity loss is prevalent around the world. Forests are cleared for urbanization, marine creatures are poisoned by toxic wastes, and global warming is only getting worse. Housing 25% of all marine creatures, coral reefs are one ecosystem at risk due to global warming. It should be given awareness that coral reefs are threatened with Earth having already lost 50% of its corals in the last 30 years. This problem is further emphasized by the fact that in nature, a coral's reproductive success rate is just 0.2%. What are coral reefs? Coral reefs are some of the most exquisite formations found in oceans. According to the National Geographic in 2017, corals are made of tiny, soft, bodied organisms called polyps. These connect to one another, forming a single organism known as a colony. These colonies form giant coral reefs that expand to hundreds of miles over the years. Coral reefs as ecosystems not only are coral reefs beautiful, they are also considered as one of the most biologically diverse ecosystems. They are like underwater cities, serving as the habitat to about 25% of aquatic life. Why should coral reefs be preserved? Coral reefs are highly important in so many aspects. Their loss will lead to the loss of other marine life. Coral reefs are known to provide protection to the coastline from currents, raging waves, and storms. Their decline impacts the economy of some countries as it could lead to the loss of income for fishermen and the undermining of the tourism industry. Coral reefs have been losing their brilliance over the years. When corals become stressed due to factors such as rising water temperature, ocean acidification and pollution, coral bleaching occurs. In 2015, scientists have confirmed a third global coral bleaching that could be the worst coral annihilation ever. What are the causes of coral reef destruction? There have been several identified causes for the destruction of coral reefs, which can either be natural or anthropogenic. Among the natural causes are typhoons, diseases, climate change, and predator outbreaks. On the other hand, some of the identified anthropogenic activities linked to the destruction of coral reefs are overharvesting of reef organisms, destructive fishing methods, irresponsible tourism activities, pollution, and oil extraction. Climate change and global warming have also been threatening our reefs. In fact, over the last three years, reefs around the world have suffered from mass coral bleaching events because of the increase in global surface temperature. As a result, coral reefs in all 29 reef-containing World Heritage Sites are in danger of losing their existence this century. Coral reefs are essential to our life for many different reasons. Coral reefs are key indicators of global ecosystem health. They serve as an early warning sign of what may happen to other less sensitive systems. Once the tipping point for coral reef survival is passed, the deterioration of other systems may cascade more quickly. Coral reefs are described as the nursery of the ocean. They act as barriers protecting young fish. More or less a billion people depend on them as active fishing sites with one half of the world's protein coming from seafood. Lastly, coral reefs help scientists know more about aquatic ecosystems. Coral reefs are a great aid to scientists in knowing about the ocean's conditions from thousands to millions of years into the past. 
Realizing how vital coral reefs are in sustaining life, we are all compelled to maintain a sustainable environment to ensure the survival of these ecosystems. Both local and international government organizations have made efforts to protect coral reefs either through setting goals, implementing policies, or funding. In the Philippines, we have regulations coming from the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources. The Philippine Fisheries Code of 1998 is being enacted to regulate the banning of coral exploitation and exportation. According to this Republic Act, it is unlawful to gather, possess, sell, or export any types of corals. This is the Paris Agreement on Climate Change. It is a pact between 197 countries that implements the reduction of greenhouse gases emissions to reduce global temperature by 2 degrees Celsius for the survival of our reefs. Various advocates have also started active reform projects. The Ocean Agency's Richard Webers documented the 50 most protectable reefs around the world. Meanwhile, Dr. Ruth Gates of the Hawaii Institute of Marine Biology pioneered assisted evolution, a method that breeds the strongest species of coral to support badly damaged reefs. Taking initiative sparks change. This time, we must take strides to protect the reefs. Here are two things to keep in mind. Small acts need to multiply. Community involvement is a key element of sustainable reef management. Educating the locals about the consequences of reef decline shall improve their accountability. Your small, simple steps can reach big goals. Taking small steps can bring you places. These steps include conserving water, proper waste disposal, tree planting, responsible fishing and snorkeling, and lastly, spreading the word to your family and friends. 20 to 40 years. Unless changes are made soon, we have only these years before most of the world's coral reefs vanish. The coral reefs are dying, and this we need to acknowledge. However, there are solutions too. We start our solutions by first realizing that our reefs are living, growing organisms. They house life. They breathe life.